First and 11 protesters taking to the streets of South Florida in a show of solidarity with the people of Cuba, who are expected to come out in force today on the island to demonstrate against repression by the Cuban government. Protesters around the world joining in that call for change, urging the Cuban government to grant freedom to its people. But that planned protest was stopped before it could start. Activists in Cuba say they are being threatened. Good evening, I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thank you for joining us. Today's demonstration was expected to be the largest since the protests we saw over the summer. But Cuban activists are reporting on social media that government supporters are blocking them inside their homes as Cuban officials make it clear that pro-democracy marches will not be tolerated. As their loved ones remain under Cuban government rule, crowds of protesters gathered here in Palm Beach County to show their support for Cubans. Ari Height is in West Palm Beach tonight where local Cubans are calling for liberty for those still on the island. This rally here along Forest Hill Boulevard lasted for a little bit more than two hours and those that were here tell me the whole goal of this was to let the Cuban people know they hear their concerns and that they're not alone. <laughs> Around 30 people lined the sidewalk with plenty of others showing support as they drove by. This is Monday night near the intersection of Forest Hill Boulevard and Military Trail in West Palm Beach. This is a group of people rallying for the Cuban people. This means libertad, liberty for Cuba. We want the freedom for Cuba. These folks say Cubans are persecuted by their government, kept without proper food and proper medicine. Damacy Abreu brought her nine-year-old twin boys all the way from Boca Raton. We want the freedom of speech. We want the freedom of thought. We want the freedom for all the political prisoners. I'm coming here so we can free the up to Cuba, so we can spread the message about helping Cuba and more people will be free. This was just one of the rallies happening in South Florida Monday, planned to coincide with rallies happening in Cuba. And those here in the U.S. only hope their brothers and sisters in Cuba can see and feel their love. If they see us, they, they know that there are Cubans all over the world supporting them. If they see through the text that some family members send or through some pictures that can actually get through at times, then they can see and feel that they have some kind of support. And as of right now, there's no clear plan where the ralliers go from here, but they say they will keep working to help ensure freedom in Cuba. In West Palm Beach, Ari Height, WPBF 25 News.